Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and today we'll be reviewing Transformers Beast Wars 1990s re-release. Pterosaur, and he's one of the Predacons. But before we get on to the review, we're going to talk about Pterosaur a little bit. Pterosaur is a treacherous Predacon. He's always scheming to take over Megatron's position, but he never succeeds, so he's technically a failure. The same goes for Tarantulas as well. They're both in the treacherous Starscream position. Yeah, for sure. But definitely, he is an awesome little pterodactyl beast transformer, and I just love that character. But before we get on to the review, we're going to talk about where I'm heading to in the next, I think, three days from now. I'll be going to Kennywood on my birthday, and as you know, I am turning 31 years old on July 28th. But before my birthday, I'm going to Kennywood. But now we're going to get down to... Looking at the packaging and the figure itself, we got some nice product art of Pterosaur. Look at that. That just looks amazing. The artwork on this re-release box is just awesome. Even the transformation steps and all that. Even the back of the box looks pretty good. But now we're going to pull Pterosaur out of the box and look at his beast mode. Man, this thing is cool. Not show accurate, but it's still pretty cool. I love it, but I was not happy with the eyes, so I gave him some eye upgrades to make him look more Beast Beast Wars y. Yeah. But that's all there is to say for Beast Mode so far. Let's get down to Beast Mode comparison. Here he is next to Panther from the McDonald's line, and Spider from McDonald's line, or Tarantulas or Ravage, if you want to be Pacific. Optimus Primal, of course, my only one I own. Play School Classic Heroes. Night Prowl, a.k.a. Cheetor. And, of course, Megatron, also 1980s re-release, and love this figure, hands down. And, of course, Beast Wars Rat Trap. There's Rat Trap as well. And who could forget one of the fossilizers from Legates from Kingdom. And another one, which is... This one, I don't know his name, but he's technically a crab. So I call him Death Pincher, because I don't know his name. But now we're going to get down to Transforming Pterosaur, which is very simple. Pull these arms down. See if we can get the head to move on its own. And the gun just fell out like it's supposed to. So we got the gun right there. It's pretty small. And now we're going to work on... Ooh, we just popped the leg out of the socket. Pop it back in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Transform, dude. I forget not to transform on me. He might be a little tight in places. Come on, Pterosaur. Terrorize. And there he is, terrorized so far. And his arm popped out, which is just a pain in the neck. And then we're going to fold these down to reveal his robot mode hands. Flip out the feet. Accordion the head downwards like that. Flip down the feet to form the arms. Flip up his head. And there we got Pterosaur terrorized in his beast mode. And we're going to give him his gun as soon as I can get him his gun. Then we can put him down. I had to transform him in steps, so I got the steps memorized, and there we got Pterosaur 
in all his beast mode glory, and he looks amazing. Articulation on this figure. Ball jointed. This figure's got a lot of ball joints, and I just love that. Same goes for the legs. Love that. Feet move. Let's do the transformation. And other than that, it's a good-looking Beast Wars figure. And now we're going to compare him with some other 1990s re-release Beast Wars with Megatron and Rat Trap. So I am collecting more Beast Wars toys because I love Transformers Beast Wars now. Sure, these are re-releases, but they're so much fun for re-releases. Can't help but love them. The transformations are simple. They're easy to convert. And they're fun. I will state that. And yeah, I have a lot of fun with these toys. Even knowing they're based on 90s toys from almost several years ago. I don't know when the 1990s came out because my memory's a bit fuzzy and I'm bad with years. Sorry about that. But I know it was in 1990 the Beast Wars came out. But other than that, it's a fun line. It's a whole cool line of beastie figures and I love some re-release toys of these classic Beast Wars figures. So Megatron is probably one of my personal favorites now. Megatron, and now Pterosaur. As soon as I get Megatron transformed, here is Megatron next to Pterosaur. I'm going to show off all my Predacons next to Pterosaur. We got Tarantulas. We got Death Pincher, which is one I don't know his proper name. If you know his proper name, then please leave me a comment if you know this character's name, but he's pretty cool. So we got four Predacons, and why not Spider, a.k.a. Tarantulas, Nightcrown. I got their transformations memorized. Pretty good. And yeah, I've got quite the herd of Predacons here. And the Predacons are here to stay. <laughs> But Pincher doesn't want to stay standing up. Because he doesn't want to stay standing up for me. I have to stand him up behind the other figures just to keep him from falling over. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I love some Predacons. And how many Predacons do I own? As of 2024, 20, we own one, two, three, four, five. Six Predacons. So I had to think a little bit. But now we're going to line up all my other Beast Wars and give you the most epic Beast Wars haul I've ever had in my collection. Of all my Beast Wars figures in one collection and how many do I own. You're about to find out when I count them all up before I end this video. We're going to get Rhinox standing up. Here we got Rhinox. He makes seven. Rat Trap makes, you know, eight. But he doesn't want to stand up for me. He's just a little bit topsy turvy. I'll tell you. That's a pain in my neck. Drill Bit makes about nine. The fossilizer I own makes about 10. If I can get him transformed, he'll be easy to show off in a second. So, yeah. And they, these are a lot of fun. I love these figures. Definitely a lot of fun. If I do say so myself. But yeah, some of these I have will stand up and some of them won't, which is a real pain in the neck. But yeah, here's number 11, which is Optimus Primal. 
And of course, last but not least, Night Prowl, aka my official Cheeto. As soon as I get him transformed, you'll see him. Come on, Cheetor. Or Night Prowl, transform. For me. And I got him transformed. That's good. Now we're going to give him his Cheetah weapon. His Cheetah blade. So go axe in some Predacons. And of course, the only gun I got for him. And here is number 12 of all my Maximals and Predacons. And I have quite a few. And he won't still stand up, so i got to flip out his robot mode feet. I almost forgot about that. But yeah, we got 11 and 12 of these Transformers Beast Wars figures. Do I highly recommend these? Yes, Beast Wars is one of the most awesome toy lines to, for me to collect figures from. They are a lot of fun and easy to transform, and they look amazing. I'm definitely going to be on the hunt for more of these, because these are a lot of fun. If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to hit that like. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.